Hallo, hallo. Hallo, Joe Man. Uh, Guess who is here? The second greatest StarCraft player on Chalmers. Yeah. Congrats on your, well, second place. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, some would say that the second greatest StarCraft player is the second greatest title on Chalmers, too. Yeah, so, that, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. But you know what? It's gonna be comfortable to sit back in the caster seat. I've never been in this position position before, so. Oh, it's very comfortable. So let's see. I guess uh, I'll ask the chat. Can you hear Joe Man right now? Or could you hear Joe Man? Well, I wonder if I have a delay on. Okay, it seems everything's good. Oh, perfect. So it seems like we're having a best of three. So it's between Flex Terror and Squid Fighter. I think he was Tux in the tournament, right? Mm, Squid Fighter was Jock, no? Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, maybe it was Jock. Yeah. It's a it's a TVZ. It looks like. Oh, how nice! That's our specialty, at least yours. <laughs> I mean, I think I see that you have a high higher win rate in uh, TVZ than your other matchups. Yeah, well. All right, so we're gonna have the first game on submarine. Yep. So this is gonna be interesting. Oh, I guess I have the control of the camera. Let's see mm. here. I don't know how to do those fancy intros, so because I, I, dis oh, no. I disabled some hotkeys. Well, how about you try to do our intro for our top left player? Yeah, I mean, top left. Here we are. Uh, oh, mm. I I'll do it. Well, on sure. the top left, <laughs> it's a uh, squid fighter or jock from uh, the electro, uh, well, electrical engineering student division. And in the bottom right, he wants to show a good game. He plays Zerg. It is Flex Terror from IT Software. And it seems like Squid Fighter has already fucked up. You know what? What's wrong? <laughs> You're not supposed to tell your opponent when you fuck up. Yeah. Or maybe it's a mind game. It could be. His build looks pretty decent so yeah. far. And so does Fleck Terrors. How many viewers does the stream have? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I guess a uh, normal hatch gas pool from Flex Terror. While uh, Squid Fighter is doing, well, it looks to me it looks like a normal opener. Uh, yeah, very much so. Let's see if the Reaper comes out, and it does. Yeah. So we will just have to see if uh, they found some new good builds from the games they just saw, or if they have something good old planned since before. Oh, he's going uh, CC before Orbital, I think. Hmm. Well, that's a mix-up. <laughs> Interesting. I, I do I do that a lot on ladder too. Um, oh, yeah. instant reactor from the Terran. Yeah, after the Reaper. Oh. Well, if there's a factory. Oh, it's a, a second barracks actually. Oh, it's the 2 1 1. Yeah, it could be very, very aggressive. And the Reaper jumps in. And uh, find some damage. Or maybe not. He does find a drone. He does. Yeah, that's big. Yeah. I heard that uh, you've lost the game if you lose a drone to a Reaper. 
Many Zergs claim that is the case. Well, Squid Fighter isn't blocking the third, so I think it's an even game now. Yeah. It could be. I mean, one drone here or there. Well, actually, he's I don't... starting the third. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Well then. Can I save it? I don't think he has. Uh, no, send your queens. Yeah. Or one queen. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have any ling. Oh, he has the four links in his main. Yeah, they're defending. They're against. defending the, re the Reaper ramp against the Reaper on the other side. Yeah. Well, the queens, oh. they might. Well, okay. Yep. Yeah, Squid Fighter is gonna check if there's another third here. And oh, there is. And a... oh, it's no, gonna no, get the no, second no. block. Does he lose a Reaper? Okay, so. But this oh, third man. and other side started up, so it got pretty delayed. But I wonder if it's still okay. And looking at Squid Fighter's face. Well, oh, man. he's talking. I think this is gonna be with the mice. I think the game is on my right, but, uh, Oh well. Maybe oh, he's going Hellions. Okay, this is an interesting build. Hellion so, Marine. Two, so this is not a 2 on one this is a 2-1. He does two barracks. Okay, there comes the starport. So Marines and Hellions early yeah. game. So, I wonder, is it a steam timing with, like, Hellbats, maybe? Uh, it's no hard, to, hard, hard to read, yeah. yeah. Okay, sir. so he's sending up the Hellions. Maybe they'll just poke around here. Now, actually, if we're looking at the uh, unit count, um, mm -hmm. or the drone count, actually, Flexter is behind uh, in water. Yeah, I think it's because he lost that one drone, you know? Yeah. The game is already over. <laughs> Why are we even casting it? <laughs> it ended with the drone. Exactly. Well, these oh. Hellions shouldn't... Oh, be but the comeback! <laughs> Well, well, that's 400 minerals lost in Hallions right there. Squid Fighter Steam has is actually done. lost more minerals than uh, Flex Terror, and more resources. So this yeah. is something. Uh, so he's got to use one Medivac going. I think he should actually try to just push the creep as soon as he gets the Medivac. And uh, try to get some map presence. Because he has quite a few marines, yeah. and he has steam. Oh, an on-site third base. Mm. That's pretty greedy. It's that is very pretty greedy. Right now to Ling run bys. But he does oh, have for a sure. high marine and Italian count. So he should be fine for now. Mm, well, it looks like he's setting up defensively. And uh, this can be scary with the creep spread going through the center of the map, especially on submarine. This is such a yeah. small map with such a good uh, middle to spread the creep through. So, uh, yeah, well, at least he's looking economically fine against the Zerg. Yeah. That's an overlord. That's pretty good. Hmm. And the push out starts. Yeah. Now, can uh, Flexter defend this? He has uh, baneling speed on the way. Oh, he's gonna to have this. This is so many banelings. Yeah, but and uh, he doesn't have a fourth yet. Will he get some good connects or will the Hellion actually kill all those No, no, no. Hellions are shit against banelings. Well, yeah, especially when centrifugal hooks are finishing. Yeah. Up. At least Squid okay, got some he... creep denial. Yeah, he got out alive too. Lost nothing. And he found the Zerglings. Yeah. So his vulnerable third got saved through this move. He still doesn't have a wall off at the natural though, so it's pretty vulnerable oh, to yeah. any Ling run buys. Come on, Jock, get your upgrades. It's important. He's getting window binds right now. Oh, there you go. He's listening. Oh yeah, 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. The custom shells. Uh oh. I saw Jock split before, he can split pretty good, but maybe the nerves are getting to him this time. Yeah. Oh no! Okay, he gets the ball on the mine. Okay, this is good. This is a decent defense. Zerg actually lost way more than I expected. 
Yeah, looking at the leading count. Um, Squid Fighter is leading in uh, the total unit lost count. Yeah, and uh, just now, Flex Terror is getting his fourth. Yeah, this is pretty late. And even the upgrades yeah. are late. Uh, stopping up the evolution. Ah, uh, uh, yes, so Jock is actually gonna be ahead in upgrades. Yeah. Oh. So. If I were in this position right now, I would try to get as many marines as possible, which it looks like he's going to do, and then attack at 1-1, follow along with the Medivacs. That could be a nice push, yeah. especially against the 4th. Oh, well, he's moving out right now, looking to clear some creep. Mm -hmm. And he's placing his Terran creep, also yeah. known as Widermind. Let's see how well these do. Uh, well, that's the thing, I, I have no idea. Flexer has a pretty okay spread. Uh, although he's a bit vulnerable down here. At the oh, for sure. But it's actually a pretty small army here from Street Fighter. It's quite a small army, but he can always retreat to the mines. Yeah, that's so true. if. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, but, oh, no. oh no! He yeah. retreated literally into the mines. Yeah, that friendly fire was not good. Yeah, but it looks like at least he has the gas bank to replace the mines, right? And we see that the flex terror actually has mutalist on the way. Oh, five mutalists. But he's losing all his queens! No, they're so important! Yeah, that's not good. All these, all these widow mines. Being a pain. Things are just dying everywhere. Both for Surg and Taran. Now, does Squid Fighter actually have an armory? Yeah, he does, so he should start his 2 2 sometime. Oh, absolutely. And he's got a misrallied barracks at the top left. Well, I hope he uses F2. Oh, yeah, that oh. my connection was pretty good. All the spamings died, and there are still more. Oh, those were not as good. Flex Tower is holding. Yeah. Oh, and he uses the select all army, so now he gets the marines that were stuck in the top. Stuck in the nice. Yeah, yeah, the uh, mist rallied barracks. I see. And his fourth CC is up. You know what? Um, this looks like a good advantage for the Terran so far. Yeah. Uh, but up uh, upgrade advantage and uh, and even base count is pretty good for Terran. Oh, for sure. But the thing is that both the Banelings and the Widowmines can perform miracles for the Zerg. So this is by no yeah. means over. Oh, and he's producing two Hellions here. The tactical 10 minute Hellions. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he's pre splitting. Oh, this is good. Is this this is good. The big surround? No. Oh, he's the got good movement. A bit off. No, this is great movement. This is great movement for the tower. Yeah, but not good for the flexor for the surge. Oh no no no. But now we have a number of bane links here, so that's oh. pretty interesting. There are too many at the same spot though. I'm better too many got too few. And uh, well, well that they could have been used in the engagement here. Oh yeah, they're actually coming great. from behind. Now the oh no. Oh, nice. Decent split. Decent split. And morphing the main links in the battlefield. Yeah. What's actually happening? This is uh, the cinematic campaign battle. Yeah. It's actually hard to tell with the yellow medivacs on this yellow grass. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Squid Fighter is getting two more factories here. Two. So I yeah. wonder if he wants to get a lot of mines or if he's gonna like double produce force or something. I think that would actually do wonders for him if he made some force with this to just tank the front yeah. banelings. Oh, and there's a baneling run by on the way. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess the fourth base. I wouldn't say that it's enough to kill the base, but, no, uh, but it might kill every SEV. Yeah. Depends on Squid Fighter if he's uh, gonna notice that in time. Yeah. And uh, 
Okay, we got some engagement in the middle. We see that there's a circling running in to tank for any Widowmine shots. And... Uh, no. Wait. Oh, there goes the Banelix. Oh, oh. That was pretty good. 17 kills. Yeah. Now Sweet Fighter is in on the other side of the map, and does that ever have enough? Those uh, mines are oh. nasty, but these oh, things no. were angry. So. Oh no. So now now this can really snowball for the Tyrant. Yeah. If he survives the next Baneling wave, he's probably gonna have this game. All the Mutalists have died too, so except one. Oh. Now it's this. So it's Madly Vax are gonna be so safe. Oh! Oh, but look at the supply. Yeah. Look at the bank. Everything is looking good for the Tyrone right now. How is this going to be? You are too good for the same way, but no. It's GG. Uh, GG. Squid Fighter taking the first map. In this best of three. Interesting game. It looks yeah. pretty even, to be honest. Yeah, it was pretty but, even. Uh, especially for Submarine, which is a Terran favorite map. So uh, I think Flex Terror had a little bit uh, uh, harder time winning on that map, specifically. Now on Jaganatha, or Jaganath, Jaganath, or mm. whatever it's supposed to be pronounced like. Well, I've heard that this is a third favored map, but oh, this is very much so. I don't know actually. <laughs> the speed zones, oh no, and the oh, the lack of air space to drop, and the large distance from corner yeah. bases. Oh my god, there is a reason that I want to proxy yeah. on this map, that's for sure. You know, I had a special build um, prepared for this map, but you actually went for proxy, so I couldn't show it off. Uh, well, it's not yeah. that special, it's a ninja base. Mm, in okay. the corner. Uh, the corner fourth. And then you'll think that maybe it's a two base muta build, because I always do that. That's fair, yeah. It could have been scary. Yeah, it could have. But. Uh... Well, let's see what Squid Fighter and Flex Terror are gonna do. Do you think they're purely macro players? You know, those players who are honorable and never cheese no matter what? Well, we'll see now, because for Flex Terror, this is tournament life on the line. Uh, oh, it is? Yes, yeah, this is a best point. of three. So, that on the true. top. Right, we have the Zerg from the IT uh, student division, Flex Terror. And in the bottom left, he's looking good right now, but let's see after Jaganafa has its way with him. Yeah. It is from the electric division, Jock or Squid Fighter. And it looks to be a proxy. Uh, proxy 2 Rax uh, Reaper, maybe? Mm. There's a gas on the way. Oh. Yeah, this wait, must be Reapers, wait, right? Because three of the position. Racks. Yeah, it's a 3 rex oh. proxy. 3 rex Reaper. Yeah. This could get this nasty. This is interesting. Yeah. And Flex Terror is going for a standard build and is not going to scout it, it looks like. Now, there's so a I actually ramp. played versus Jock and he went for the proxy Reapers against me. And he actually has a really good Reaper control. So if he keeps that Reaper control through this game... Then, yeah. uh, that's the, gonna be really scary. Yeah, it could be. Now, um, for this map, there's a, a, a cliff where Reapers can jump um, up through. So the, these barracks here will... Um, well, the Reapers popping out here will have a very short uh, distance to the main base of Squid Fighter. So... Let's see how this goes. Oh, uh, yes, for sure. Now, is Flex Terror gonna see the SCV here? Mm, he, he's, yeah, he cannot see the SCV. It's in the vision, but did he see it? No, no scout, that's, uh, no respect. Ah, uh, okay. No, he was busy uh, writing. Yeah, he... <laughs> True. <laughs> and he sees the second SCV now. 
They're just playing pure mind games yeah. in the chat. There's an oversaturated the main and a Reaper jumping in. Oh. Now this is... It looks like a standard Reaper timing actually. But maybe a bit earlier. Uh. I mean last game Flexera had his link top like right oh, when the Reapers good. arrived. Now there's two Reapers though. So he knows that it's, uh, it's a proxy of some kind. Yes. And now the Terran just wants to snowball his Reapers. He definitely doesn't want to lose one. Yeah. Not against any drones in the mineral lines or anything. No, but this is pretty good for him. Yeah. But uh, uh, he is doing a free Rex Reaper, so this has to actually kill the Zerg. Uh, there's not many ways to back this up with anything else. This is a very all in. Yeah. Oh, and he loses a Reaper, and he loses two of them. That's not good. No, oh, this is really here, bad. So the Reapers can't just run into the main. Uh, and let's see. I would like to, him to move the spine crawler a bit more forward, but this is a decent yeah, position. It should cover parts of the clip, at least. Yeah, if it does that, then, well, then it's gonna be pretty troublesome to get up. He's got quite a few links and speed hits. And the Reaper are getting surrounded. And all of them escape, actually. Yeah. A bit low, but Reapers regenerate HP, so it's fine. Now he's poking the natural, and... Um, well, there are no drones here. So. Oh, is this a big oh, surround? This is a, uh, yeah, this is a very scary move in for uh, Jock. Oh. Yeah, he's... not gonna survive oh. this. Oh, no! This looks pretty bad. I think he just lost like a battle cruiser worth of resources right there <laughs> with his Reapers. Yeah, 800, even more, I think. Yeah. Now Squid Fighters, um, well... He's oh, he's still... doing the Hallion follow-up. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's floating back. Yeah, he's floating back. Oh, no. With a double gas and it's just six SCVs on the... Okay, he removed some from the gas. Very sensible. How is he gonna? Is he gonna get the wall off in time? Uh, aye, aye, no, he's the right thing. Aye, aye, aye. Probably not. Let's see how this might go. This. Well, mm. will Reapers survive for now. But will his SCVs survive? This one's pretty well actually <laughs> in the defense. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, but uh, only two SCVs. Oh. Flex Terror is just pumping out Zerglings. So he wants to kill Jock right now. Yeah, it's almost like a counter all in, but he has a better drone count. Oh, okay, now he's pumping out eight drones. That's nice. Yeah. I like that move way more, just like macroing up, because he has so much advantage he can. Yeah. And there's no way that uh, Squid Fighter is ever expanding. He's just going to. Yeah. Oh, he is going to take another CC, but it's it's way too late. It's yeah. not the time for a CC. Yeah. Flex Terror's third, actually, is finishing up now. Yeah. And double gas, okay. So we might see some mutalisks incoming. It's possible. Well, Roaches, actually. Okay. Well, Roaches is a good way to break somebody who's behind, that's for sure. Yeah. He's getting two tech labs and a reactor, so he's gonna look for quick uh, marine upgrades, probably, and go for some kind of push, maybe. But uh, yeah, it looks very dire for Squid Fighter. So he's getting steam, and he's not really got enough gas for combat shield. Yeah. Uh, but when he does, I would say that's his only chance right now is to completely surprise the Zerg. Yeah. With with like a free Rex all in of some sort. And look, Flex Terror is sending a link to every base to check for hidden bases. Yeah. No shenanigans allowed here. No, that's pretty nice. Always keeping the vision up. And the creep is just moving forward across the map and uh, oh, is he forgetting combat shield? Yes, now it seems like it. It's a very crucial up, uh, upgrade, so he probably wants that. 
if he's gonna push. Oh yes. And Flexter seems to have misplaced his overlord on the pillar. So uh, bye yeah. bye vision. Yeah, but that overlord uh, oh. is never gonna survive anyway. Yeah. In the production tab though, we have 10 roaches right now. And if yeah. uh, they morph into ravagers. Well, this looks like uh, Squid Fighter is gonna have a really bad time. I mean, if they all, all morph into Ravagers, it's gonna be a bad time for Flexter, I think. But uh, yeah, Squid Fighter's bio army is very small. Uh, he could benefit from adding Marauders now, but he doesn't know that there's a Roach, uh, possibly a Roach attack incoming. Oh, no, no. Flexter has the vision of the whole map right now. Yeah. He can do whatever he wishes. Squid Fighter knows nothing. No. Even change links from Flex Terror to Scout. So many roaches incoming, this could be a CVC build. Yeah. And when speed finishes, uh, roaches, roach speed upgrade, then they'll probably attack and... Uh, well, it's very hard for Squid Fighter to actually defend this. Oh, definitely. He he absolutely needs tanks against yeah. this. He's at one and tank he just away, hasn't had... but no, a move out like yeah. this won't help. He, he just hasn't bunker. had the economy to get anything. Yeah. Nobody All right. Knows. Yeah. Going up to the main. That's a good. That's a good move. Yeah. And that's that's that my move in the final game. Uh, finishing. So. Uh, that's. Advantage. Oh oh. Yeah, for some reason, yeah, Flexer is just going home. Okay. No. Okay. Was that a select all army command? Hmm. Yeah, could be. At this point, I just want to see him A move up the ramp. Yeah. And he should be fine. Just free bikes on the tank. Yeah, he's gonna reach the tanks first. Mm -hmm. He left the mines reach. with that. Yeah, the mines uh, deny vision. Uh, well, they deny the overseers. Mm. So. Oh, oh that's one Zergling running in. Okay, so now he snipes the mines. Yeah. Now it should be very safe for Flexer to just walk in. Yes. Well, if he does that, then maybe. No. He misses his bias. I, I think that's like one of the best engagements of Squid Fighter could have gotten, but I don't think he's gonna hold it anyway. No way. As soon as the tank is down on the long ground now, we can just pick it off. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the marines are running down. And, this is and the tank is again. in. Oh no! <laughs> well, luckily we won't have to hit it. Yeah. GG! Yeah. GG. So now it's 1 1. Yeah. We're going into the decider game. Yeah, it's a very even match so far. Ben Nanda, indeed. Oh, Daff Aura. It's gonna be the final map. Death Aura. So... Mm. Uh... Yeah, they say best of three, right? Yeah, yeah. Daphora, what do you think about this map, Sinif? Do you think it's a Zerg or a Terran map? Uh, I'm undecided. Like, I have mm. a hard time to tell if any map is favored for any races. I so, see. So now, in the top left, we have uh, Squid Fighter from the Electrical Engineering Student Division. And in the bottom right, playing Zerg for the Software Engineering 
It is Flex Terror. And uh, this time it looks way more like a macro opening. Yeah, for both players. No SCVs across the map. Well, no, it's a 17 drone. I wonder what this means. Okay. Well, you would know the Zerg science better than I do. Yeah. Well, um, 17 hat used to be standard uh, like a few years ago, but nowadays people go for 16 uh, hatch. Oh, I see. It lines, it lines up the queens better, and uh, you have an, since you have an earlier hatch, it has more HP if anything happens, like an all in or anything. Hmm. Well, look what we can learn from each other. Yeah. So it's a normal uh, gas pool opener, uh, well, hatch gas pool opener from Flex Terror, while Squid yep. Fighter is, well, he's doing standard Terran stuff. Yeah. Very early scout, also. Yeah. He's showing respect this time because now it's his tournament life on the line, also. Oh, yeah, true. There's not much of a tournament, but a uh, show match. <laughs> it's his show match life on the line. Yeah. And I think that's almost as important as the tournament life. Yeah. So it's a dub. It's, it, yeah, it's the first Reaper now. And uh, let's see what he does after this. Well, oh. reactor. The reactor. Oh, he places it in the depot position. Yeah, it's very You know what? The, oh, never mind. He knows this. Yeah. Because you, usually when you place the reactor in the depot position, you later on forget that you're supposed to build another depot too. Yeah, that's an III moment right there. Yeah, that's a very III moment. Now oh, the a factory. Try to deny this Reaper and... Well, I've heard that getting a link kill is also game ending. Oh what yeah, that's that? completely ends the game. Two links should not die. But if you think the oh, drone no. kill is bad, and if you think the serving kill is bad, have you heard about the creep tumor kill? Oh no, I wanna leave my game every time that oh, happens. Yeah. Oh, this damn Terran, thinking they're cool, or thinking they're hot Well, they, they are, but... They're not. So we have... Well, a double reactor. Is this a um, standard thing? Uh... This is a Squid Fighter special, I would yeah. say. It's a quick 3cc too. Yes, this is a very quick 3cc. And uh, it looks just like he's gonna be able to get away with it. Yeah, Flex Terror is macroing up and uh, doesn't seem to However, be aggressive. Oh, the scout. Yeah, he gets a scout. And he's gonna kill one SCV maybe. Well, no. The Hellion spawn in time. But now at least he knows that it's a quick, uh, a quick third uh, for the Terran. Flex Terror is getting in his own lair. And four gases. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's a rather aggressive uh, taking, I think. Usually if you play macro, you oh, yeah. are a bit slower with the lair, I think. Yeah, definitely. Oh, a Bane Nast, yeah. okay. Oh, Hellion's killing two... Three? No, just two creep tumors. But losing one Hellion for it, so... Okay, we got a few tumors, that's yeah. actually good. And there are more Hellions on the way. And an SCV. Now this is interesting. An SCV. Is it an oh, accident? the repair SCV. Wait, no. no, it's it's just a mistake. Well, yeah. He did scout the fourth position though, so it wasn't completely useless. Yeah, I guess so. Now uh, Squid Fighter knows that he's not at four. And well, these Hellions are. Shouldn't have died here, but they're doing pretty well otherwise. Now, uh, Flex Terror is actually not droning up, so this is some aggressive play coming from him. 
Oh, he's sending a changeling into the main. Yep. Oh, and Squid Fighter. He's just about to build his 12th Hellion. That's a lot of Hellions. That's a very big amount of Hellions. And he's... Yeah. no. He's so many Banelings! Well, oh, but he actually manages yeah, he, to get a good, good trade. He survived that. And now Flex Terror decides to grow. Oh! <laughs> well, he's preparing for the eventual oh, no. 10 drone loss. Oh no. What the hell? Banelings! Well, and the third base is blocked, well. yeah. <laughs> now engineering base goes up, so looking to get uh, some bio upgrades. He's actually not killing the changeling. No, he's just standing next to it, looking at it, waiting for it to spell. Oh, there we go. Wait, did he have and... a... yeah. Yeah, I did the BM a move on his own command center. Yeah. Asserting dominance. Now it's a Hydralist then uh, from Flex Terror. So it's going to be a Ling Bane Hydra game. What do you mm. think about that? I think with some uh, Lurkers that could be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it could be devastating with Lurkers, but. Uh, yeah. He's not getting a quick hive though, so if he does get Lurkers, oh. he won't have upgrades for a while. Now Spider yeah. is pushing into. The third base. Um, some I mean, Hydras are way, definitely not too bad against the Widow Mines. Yeah, but he does want the Overseer though. That's. yeah. But it looks like. Oh, 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 oh no! And he no can't lose his Hydras now. Yeah. Oh, Sand in the Links! Sand in the Links! Sand the drones! Oh, that's a good position for the Marines. Yeah, uh, what do you hold? They will uh, the parade die, push is yeah, not necessarily got so much force in it. No, but it's still some pressure for Flex Terror. Yeah. Is he, is he gonna deal with this without losing too many drones? Uh, it looks like he's saving most of it. Yeah. I would have liked to see him move back to Hydralisks as soon as his melee was uh, dead. His links and Banes. So he could have saved them for the second wave. Now Squid Fighter is pushing out for more. Oh, yeah, I Squid don't think, I don't just think going. it's going to do that much. There are some links and banings. Although yeah, are, Squid Fighter is not even getting add-ons for his barracks. He just wants to kill Flex Terror right now. And he's just got a line of marines going across the map being rally pointed instantly yeah. from the production. And if he gets this base, to be fair, that's a, yeah. that's a good kill. And he will. Maybe engage this actually, because he can keep you with some good micro, he could uh, kill this whole army. Ah, uh, not like this. And. Well, oh! Okay. It went well for Flexar. And he absolutely destroys the army. He takes minimal losses himself. And now he's got. Quite a few Hydras, and he still has quite a few Banings. Indeed. And uh, we see the infestation pits. Yeah. And uh, going to be some. Probably a hive. Uh, yeah, I would prefer to see a hive researching rather than burrow in the main hatchery right now, but. Well, there's not much use for the hive right now because uh, Squidfire is just making marines and mines. Maybe Viper yeah. for black uh, for parasitic bomb against the medivacs mm. is good, but he has hybrid. Yeah, I would I would say for the lurkers. Like if he gets lurkers against mine and uh, marine. Yeah, you can see that that's... one one for squid fighter has actually never st um, completed. Mm. Uh, so even though he got his engineering spay pretty early, he still doesn't have any upgrades. While flex terror is uh, well soon getting his two two upgrades finished. So, we have Squid Fighter get, building up quite a bank right now. 
And uh, actually, if he were to spam that bank, he would be ahead of the Zerg right now. Yeah. So if we f see some more production from Squid Fighter, and he has gotten the add-ons, and he has, he's getting more barracks, then the parade push number two can be just as scary as the first one. What? And the 2 2 timing is really good. Uh, instantly after 1 1 finishes. Yeah. Flex Terror is looking to do some uh, baning run by here. And he has links oh. here, actually. So he yeah, knows. he has them burrowed. He knows what's going on with oh. this third. But Squid Fighter, he's pushing in, um, getting closer oh, no. to the fourth position. He unburrowed uh, the links. Oh, oh bane links. Uh, there we go. And now Squid Fighter goes back home, although there's not much to defend. Mm. Squid Fighter is actually up in army supply, but one bad engagement against this uh, this army is uh, well, yeah, wipe uh, out the whole army. And he's got so. So little splash damage in now, his army. We really get a surround here. A 360 surround. Now he needs to split. Okay, yeah. nice. Split the oh yeah. no! That was a good, this is a, that was a good uh, This is a keyboard smash moment for the Terran. I feel him. Yeah, he went too deep into the creep there. Oh, definitely. Definitely. He's getting a bit impatient, yeah. I would say. No, Flexor is doing a baneling run by, maybe. Yeah, while oh. pressuring the third. And there are two Good mines mine here, position. So they, yeah, yeah, they will kill the baneling. But well, that was this good split actually. Okay. Um, at the same time, there's an like, game over here. And he's trading off creep, so that's always fine for the Terran. Yeah. Oh, there are bur burrowed banelings, but it's a mar marauder-based armor. Oh no, that was no. <laughs> Yeah, he should have waited for the Marines. Every every time. And he's getting two spires. This is gonna be some heavy upgrade tech switch. Yeah. Oh! But a big engagement. Okay. And he needs to move back his Marines and keep his Marauders at the front. Maybe. Okay, nice mine hit. Uh... There are still too much Zerg here. Oh no, he did the same thing again. Yeah, only the Medivacs. He has Medivac the He does have a big bank, so if he does have the production facilities, then... Oh, oh he hasn't bound this barracks. Yeah, at this facility. point he just needs to get like... Many factories, free free, just another store port, everything he just can get. Yeah. Try to regain could, could the advantage. Late, there are so many links. Oh no. And there's no wall anywhere, so the links are just gonna have get to do exactly what they want. I can tell with the medivacs floating. But, uh, I don't know if this is what they want. I think Flex Terror is winning uh, this. Both yeah, it, it looks so. Oh no. And he's getting into the main, into natural. And that's GG. That's game, and uh, this caster show match goes to Flex mm -hmm. Terror. Not easy being a player, is it? No. <laughs> Not easy being Somebody. a caster either. Uh, well, I had a really good time. GG. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's the end of the stream. Yes, indeed. So yeah. Congratulations to Flex Terror for winning the um, caster show match. And um, yeah. thank you guys for watching this um, this event. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Hope to see you for some other um, Lagit organized tournament in the future. And bye bye.